Hello guys. You are all asking for a night routine of the Husky Squad. So today we're bringing you a very special night routine at camp, a very special edition. What our night routine looks like at camp, especially with Yuna pushing forward, because she's always got to sit here. Are, are you happy now? Are you happy? The squad is here. We had a crazy day. We actually work a lot during camping too. We don't you know, just we don't just get to play. Push me. I can't you know, shift. You know you can't shift. Daddy can't shift. Get back. Get back. Yuna's Yuna's a little monster in the car. She just decided that's her seat and that's where she's at. A little manipulator. So after a crazy day today of work, we had to go run into town because Mr. Teddy Bear, Grizzly Bear, Polar Bear Titus decided to blow his entire coat. <laughs> he looks so skinny, but he's not obviously. He just looks skinny because he doesn't have a coat. Titus, where's your coat, buddy? Where'd you put it? He shed about two huskies out of him. It was crazy. So we got him a coat because it's so cold at camp right now. We hit last night around 26 degrees. And tonight we're expecting about 30 degrees. Huskies usually love this temperature. Titus loves it too, but not right now without a coat. So we had to run into town and we got Titus a nice fleece jacket to keep him warm at camp. So that was in our agenda. And when it comes to our night routine, this is how it usually goes. We usually do some kind of a walk or some kind of a hike at night. Now, we like doing hikes or walks twice a day. That's usually our thing. And it depends on the weather, it depends where we're at, and it depends on our workload and where our appointments are that will balance the type of walks. Usually we do one longer hike or walk and then one shorter one. So we already did our long hike today. So right now we're going to do a shorter evening walk. And that's usually something that we like to do um, after we finish our work day. It's so good for the mind, it's so good for the squad. Even if it's for half an hour, it doesn't matter. Just really take that time to relax and it feels so good. And afterwards when you sit down and you have dinner with family, it just feels so different after you've decompressed your mind. And especially with the squad, we like doing that because they don't get to spend the whole afternoon with us, right? All right, we're here. Let's go hit the trail. I've been warned about you. They said that just one look and I'd get caught too Cause there's something about you And you know it too All I do is think about you Your eyes, your scent, your touch is all I dream
you've heard that all I do is obsess about you. But if only you could see that we are meant to be. Tastes like the Husky Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Turmeric tea with milk. It's hitting the spot. And this is what life is about. Shield out happy puppers. Almost time to make a fire. I had a long day, the kids, huh? A good day. You know, what are you demanding? What are you demanding, Mama? She's giving me that stare down. I don't have anything yet. Trust me, it's common, buddy. Fire time. Mm -hmm. Fast as catches. Titus, Titus, you cold? Are you cold? Got his little jacket. He may need to bring his his uh, sleeping bag out here for him. Kimari's drooling. She's got a big blob right there. <laughs> Wait till she sees her dinner. She sees her dinner. Tell you she's squeaking. You're squeaking. She's squeaking. Right now. She wants to give you kisses. She's been trying. She likes to smell my beard. That guy's little jacket going on. Mm -hmm. Good boy, buddy. Good babies. Cheers, baby. Nice night.
so freaking cute. They're cold. You know, I wish they could get closer to the fire, but the smoke doesn't like. They don't I know, like the smoke. I already, I already brought them pretty close, hoping that the fire is gonna be good. It's not gonna smoke too much. Hey, my love. How's my love? Oh, nice night, huh? Guys, you okay? Not too cold? <laughs> Titus got his little purple jacket. Titus, you like that purple jacket? Do you think he comes with big for it then? I think a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Special night routine tonight. This is not the average, this is at camp. We've actually been here already for over a week, so it definitely feels like home. The squad has their routine, they know what's going on. But tonight's going to be a little bit different because the squad is going to get steak with us. So we're going to be cooking up some local grass-fed steak. We bought it not too far from our campground, which is really cool. We really like supporting local communities and also just much healthier meat in general. That's the kind of meat that we eat. And the squad's going to get some steak for the first time. They don't even know what's coming. Right, baby? Are you hungry? Do you want dinner? I'm gonna teach you the word steak. Yeah? You know you want dinner, mommy? I know, I know, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one more snack and then you're about to have the best dinner of your life. You ready for that? Good, babies. Let me turn on those little safety lights, too. Because it's getting dark. And this keeps the squad safe. This is the best thing ever. From now on, they're all gonna have their lights. The only thing is they have to press it three times. Ah, <laughs> oh, baby. Good boy, buddy. Good boy with your little purple jacket. You're a hairless husky. What happened to you? Where's your entire coat, Bubber? Are you warmer now? The warmth is coming here. You can feel it? Yeah. Hey, mama love, I'll give you a snack. I'll give you a snack, my cutie pie. Good girl, now she's a good girl, you know? Good boy, Titus. All right. Good girl, my love. The cool thing that we got this time is we, we realized after camping for a while that we really don't like doing dishes in the cold at night. So we find out lazy ways to get around those things. And one of the ways is having having um, skewers to just cook anything on it. But side note, before we finish, we feed the squad's curds. They please don't think this is something we feed them every day. Not only is it incredibly expensive, but it does not meet their nutritional needs, right? So they eat a raw diet. But at camp once in a while, a treat is completely fine and local grass-fed steak without any seasonings on it, just clean on the fire, totally okay. If you guys want ideas of those type of meals that you can share with your pups at camp, let us know in the comment section. We'll also have a link here to our, to our website, huskysquad.com, where you can find more information and how you can share different meals at camp. We used to have these one pot wonders, but our diet changed and so did the squad. So we don't eat like that anymore. We eat very simple, very basic, and a lot of the food we can actually share with the squad, which is really nice. So that's our special night routine, guys, here at camp. I'm ready for your steak, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. Steak? Yeah. 
Should be good now, right? Should be. Go, baby. Oh my god. Good? Wow. It's good. This is amazing. I think I'm gonna give him a tiny bite. Can I? My. She's gonna be like, what the hell? She's like, is this real life? Stay here. I'm gonna give a piece to you now. Mm -hmm. Titus, you wanna try steak? You want steak, buddy? Wow. <laughs> Titus is so interested now. He was like, man, this is cold. I don't know if I want my husky coat back, and now he's so into the meat. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Seriously, thank you. That's delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes it's like the scritch steak you get at restaurants, huh? Fine no dining. Thank, no thank you to the restaurant having this. This is the beauty of eating it like this. You can just anytime. Just reheat it a little bit on the fire. Right? This fire is so hot. It's so good. Best steak I ever had in my life. This yeah, I know. So delicious, huh? Are we gonna do this? It's a bit hot. Let's start with this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit hot. So the squad steak doesn't have any seasoning on it. It's just clean, grilled and smoked on the fire. And it's a bit hot. And super juicy, JC. Wow, your steaks are so juicy. Mm. Okay, it's hot, baby. Give it a minute. Okay. You don't want to burn the squad. Here you go, my love. Here you go, my love. Good boy, buddy. You like that? This has a name. It's called steak. You want steak, mamas? You want steak, mama love? Oh, so juicy. There you go. Good eye contact. See, this is a very special thing for the squad. So I'm not just going to give it to them whole. I'm going to hand feed them build that connection every time you do this every time you hand feed you build more of the connection you want a big chunk buddy you want steak you like steak buddy hope it's not hot this is such an easy meal to share with your pup at the campground just have a cooler or have a nearby local meat store and you can just do this anytime you want at camp with your pupper such a great way to eat together the only difference is, is that JC's and mine steak were seasoned up with different flavors but they're just getting it plain oh look at that little eye contact my love you like it huh 
You like steak babies? All right. Let's do round two. You guys want more? Good baby, stay. I, I think this is their favorite food ever because I can tell in their behavior that they don't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> it's like all the training is going out the window. But it's okay because it gives me more opportunity to train them and I like that. Cool boy, buddy. And no, for those people that can be like, oh my God, gross. You're, you're feeding your dog from your mouth. That is not gross. That is completely fine with me. It's just steak, right? Same steak I just had. Just do me a favor, guys. Don't lick the floor later. Can we agree to that? You know, nice eye contact. Good girl. <laughs> the aromas that come off of the steak must be so amazing to them. Good girl, my love. Nicely, very nice. Good baby. Good babies. Good girl, baby. All right, Titus. So juicy, huh? So good. You guys want more? You want more steak? Lick my fingers so I can grab the other steak, huh? It's the last steak. Can you guys handle it? Mm. Nice icon, that body's so delicious, huh? I know, I like skirt steak too. It's so good, huh? And daddy made it so juicy. Mm. Forget it. Every time we're gonna make a fire now, they are not gonna wanna go anywhere. <laughs> you know, lay down. You know, lay down, my love. Oh, good girl. It's actually really cold right now, you guys. I think it's about 35. But the fire is keeping us warm. And the steak is too. What a good girl, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you love that, huh? That feels good. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Masi, you want some too? Yuna, <laughs> Yuna really can't handle the steak situation. It's way too much for her, for her senses. Look at the poor puppy face she's pulling. She keeps getting up. I know, she can't handle it. I'm trying to check who's best behaved over here. Good girl, Mashi. All right, let's let this one cool down. That's Kimari's. Still a bit too hot. Ah, ah you, Yuna. You know how many times are you gonna try to No, you know, come on, you can you you <laughs> lay down you know you know lay down <laughs> So JC what do you think? Is she the most steak obsessed or is it all of them? She just can't hold back. She can't tolerate it. There you go my love. Nicely oh nicely good job. Okay guys, we're down to the wire. We are down to the wire. Stay, Yuna. I had to cut that in half. So all of them can get some good girl, my love. Ouch! She doesn't even check her bites. Yuna. That's too much. Nicely. I'm going to have to teach her right now. Good girl. I'm going to have to teach her that she needs to be nicer. Titus. This is how you teach her. Watch. This is how you teach her. When they don't do something that you like, that you don't like. Mm -hmm. No. We're gonna do nicely, okay? Uh uh. No, I want tongue, not teeth. I want tongue, not teeth. Can you do it? Uh uh. Give her the tongue nicely. There you go. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Let me practice with you too, buddy. 
to do it nicely, okay? Uh-uh, teeth, no teeth. Give me the, oh, good boy. That's what I want. I want tongue. You know? You. You know? Yes, yeah, she can't, she can't handle steak. Kimari is really good at being gentle. All you have to do is say nicely, right? Nicely. And she's so gentle. She really knows. All right, guys. That was your dinner. That was your dinner. Mm -hmm. How about that for your dinner, huh? You ready to go to bed? You guys are ready to go to bed, huh, bubbers? They love the tent. All right, bye, babies. Come on. All right, babies. Let's go to bed. You want to go to bed? I think they're like, is there more steak? <laughs> You guys ready to go to bed, bubbers? Hmm? Go do your thing. Come on, go do business. Come on. Let's go do business. Come on. Babies, come. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, tinkle, tinkle. Mari. Come on. Tinkle, tinkle. Titus, tinkle, tinkle. Come on. Marcy's. Tinkle, tinkle. Go, tinkle. Go tinkle tinkle, you know. Tinkle tinkle. Good baby. You look come in. Tinkle tinkle. Tinkle tinkle. Tinkle tinkle. Good boy, buddy. Titus, you wanna go bed, buddy? You wanna go bed? Titus, you love the bed, huh? You love the bed? And you wanna go bed, buddy? Come here, Bobber. Come here. Come here, Titus. And turn off your little light. You want to go to bed, buddy? Titus loves his bed. He loves being in the tent. Go to bed, buddy. That's his little spot right there. Marcia, you ready for your bed? Wait, wait, wait. Titus, go to bed, buddy. Come here, come here. Look at this girl. Marcia. Oh my god, he's making bread. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Titus? <laughs> he's really happy. Titus, are you happy, buddy? Where are you been? <laughs> Good boy, buddy. <laughs> are you going to find your spot? Cold. Now that we're away from the fire, I can feel it. Yuna. Oh, girl. Okay, babies. Stay cozy, okay? We're gonna go clean up. I'm gonna go clean up, the, clean up the fire. And then we'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? With bubbers. Clean up was a breeze. I had no dishes tonight, as usual. So in the few minutes that we were out there, the squad already rolled up into their balls. I always take off their collars though. And Titus is so cold these days without the husky coat. But I'm gonna have to move in to give him some more, some more warmth, buddy. Gonna give you some more cozies. He does not even want to move. Oh my god, these kids. But they each have their own sleeping bag. And the sleeping bag is really nice because it doesn't attach a bunch of hair to it. So it's easy to maintain. I don't think I'm going to be able to move this little brick. Should I leave his coat on him, do you think? Yeah, it's too long. Yeah? Okay. Alright, Titus. I'm going to have to make you cozier, buddy. For the night, it's like... 30 degrees tonight. We got here 
to camp and it was like 82 degrees or 81 degrees and now it's just down to freezing it's like spring just went away it disappeared almost done almost done there you go all right nagato hole there we go that's how you wrap up a see he's like hairless it's just a top coat right now so this cuddled in situation is gonna make titus feel much better tonight and he was actually shivering before oh there you go buddy make yourself cozy and there you go. Closing it? kind of partially got a little, a little husky burrito going on here just for titus because he really needs it he's so sleepy his head is turned to the side good boy buddy get some good sleepers all right let's let's check out kimari this is also how you know that they're a little cold and they got their little nose tucked into their tail so even though husky they're still not used to these temperatures come here my love let me take off your collar no <laughs> kimari gives little soft growls when she's very content with her space she's like don't move me mom but i'm just gonna make you cozy okay my love come here Kimari likes to be warm too, so there you are, girl. <laughs> she does. She just doesn't love being moved, but I know she's gonna appreciate it as the temperatures drop to 30 tonight. She's gonna be happy that she's all cozy, right, mamas? There you go. Oh, my good sleepers. There you go. And those those sleeping bags are actually toddler size. I'll include them or youth size, I'll include them in our Amazon shop, everything in the blog of this video, in the description. But these are actually 50 degrees, so they're not super warm because for Huskies, you don't want to make them too hot. But it's just a nice little insulated layer for them to feel like they have some kind of coverage when it's really cold. Because yes, I know Huskies can survive this kind of temperatures, but let's face it, they live with us at home and they're always comfortable, so they're not used to being super, super cold. So. We're just conscious of those things and they have their own little sleeping bag. Sleep well, baby. All right. Let's get little Yuna. Yuna's got the thickest coat these days. So I still give her a little cubby hole. But usually she kicks it off a little bit through the night. So this just gives her the option to be able to cuddle up. Right, mama love? You need one little bit of cover? Just a little bit with your big floofy coat. What do you want, Yuna? Are you gonna help me with that? Be done. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Now we got little Yuna tucked in too. And this is how she likes to sleep here because daddy sleeps right here. JC sleeps here. She gets to sleep right next to daddy. All right, guys. We're gonna roll out our camping beds, our camping sleeping bags, I should say. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. We hope you liked it. This is our very typical night routine with a husky squad with exception to the food is not always the same. But this is what it's like. It's such a good feeling. They love this. They love sleeping cuddled up with us in the tent. It's, there's nothing like it. So if you haven't tried camping with your pup or if you haven't tried camping just in general, just give it a try. It's incredible. And yeah, be sure to go visit huskysquad.com. We have lots of amazing things from really cool prints of the Husky Squad to mugs to shirts to great presets if you love our photography and so much more, including amazing programs that are coming. So be sure to go check that out too, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this much requested night routine video with a twist at camp. And we'll see you guys next time on Husky Squad. Thank you.